Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the operation of CMOS inverter. In the previous video, we have seen the different types of alternate forms of the pull-up transistors where we have used a load resistor, NMOS depletion mode, NMOS enhancement mode and then PMOS transistor. When we have connected a PMOS device in the pull-up transistor, that particular construction or configuration is known as a CMOS inverter configuration because it consists of both PMOS and as well as NMOS devices in the operation of the transistors. Now, if you see the inverter, a CMOS inverter, which consists of a PMOS device in the pull-up transistor, as I told you, it is the PMOS in transistor and NMOS transistor in the pull-down. NMOS transistor in the pull-down. So, this NMOS transistor in the pull-down and this PMOS transistor in the pull-up is connected in such a configuration that both the drains of the transistor is connected to the output and source of this PMOS transistor is connected to the VDD and source of this NMOS transistor is connected to the ground and the gates of these two, the, here it is a gate, here it is a gate, gates of these two are connected and shorted to the, the input, to connect the input. This is the realization of this CMOS inverter. Now, the transfer characteristics also we have seen in the previous uh, video, but in this video, I will explain each and every region of the operation of the transistor. That means at what voltage, how the current is going to flow from VDD to output or from VDD to VSS. <coughs> now, let us see when input is equal to 0, what happens? When input is slowly increasing, what happens? And when input is equal to VDD, what is, is the status of the transistors. Now, take the transfer characteristics between input and output. See, this is the input voltage on the x-axis and this is the output voltage we are having on the y-axis. <coughs> now, when input is equal to 0, what happens when input is equal to 0? PMOS transistor is completely on and NMOS transistor is completely off. PMOS transistor completely on, NMOS transistor completely off then output is equal to VDD. That's why this is the VDD. Input is maximum. <coughs> okay. So, that region, we have taken that region as the region 1 where the current is 0 because one transistor is in off state, one transistor is in on state. So, there is no current flow from VDD to VSS. Here, this particular curve, the second curve indicates the current supply rails, current supply between the rails from VDD to VSS or we can also say it static current flow, IDS, a static current flow that is flowing between VDD and VSS as current. Now, in the first region, what is the status of the first region? PMOS transistor is in on state, NMOS transistor is in off state. PMOS transistor on state, NMOS transistor is completely off state. So, we can say region 1, region 1, so what is the region 1? When input is equal to, when input is equal to 0 volts, PMOS transistor is completely on and NMOS transistor is completely off. NMOS transistor is completely off. Okay, so when input is equal to 0, PMOS transistor is completely on and NMOS transistor is completely off. What is the output now? Output is equal to VDD. Output is equal to VDD. This is the region 1. And what is the current flow? No current flow between VDD and VSS. No current flow between VDD and VSS because one of the transistors is in off state. And coming to region 5. Region 5. So, region 5 is nothing but it is which is an opposite action of this first region. Go back to the first slide. See here. When input is equal to logic high. When input is equal to logic high or 5 volts. Then what is the status? NMOS transistor is completely on. NMOS transistor is completely on and PMOS transistor is completely off, which is the opposite action of the first region. In that region, what is the status of the current? 
see here here i am telling now in this particular region that means region number 5 what is the current flow current flow is equal to 0 because again n mass transistor is in on state but p mass off state so no current flow from vdd to vss that's why ids is equal to again 0 <coughs> so when input is equal to vdd or 5 volts p mass transistor is in off state and n mass transistor is in on state <coughs> So, V out is equal to 0 volts and in this condition also no current flow, no current flow between VDD and VSS, no current flow between VDD and VSS. Next, let us go to the region number 2 region number 2 what is the region number 2 come back to this one <coughs> region number 2 is nothing but this region where n mass transistor comes into saturation region p mass transistor is in linear region nothing but triode region or non saturation region see now what happens e input is slowly increasing input previously zero now input slowly increasing and when that input voltage crosses the threshold voltage of this n mass transistor n mass transistor enters into the saturation region and p mass transistor previously it was on but now it enters into the triode region or linear region or non saturation region so when input crosses the threshold voltage p mass transistor is in non saturation region and n mass transistor is in saturation region so this is the condition <coughs> that now we are at this point b that means in the region 2, what is the current flow? Current slowly starts increasing. See the curve. Current slowly starts increasing. Okay. So now region 2, when V in is greater than threshold voltage Vt, then <coughs> P mass transistor enters into, previously it is on, completely on. Now it is enters into linear region linear region or we can call it as a triode region or we can call it as a non saturation region and n mass transistor enters into saturation region n mass transistor enters into saturation region one is in non saturation region and other one is in the saturation region then output whatever what about the output output slowly <coughs> decreasing output decreasing what about the current now current ids current ids slowly increases ids current slowly increases in this region 2 now what is the opposite action of this region 2 region 2 opposite action is region 4 region 4 see in the region 4 again go back to this curve which is opposite action see here this is the opposite action where we are <coughs> n mass transistor is said to be in non saturation region and p mass transistor is said to be in saturation region that means when input is completely high just less than the vdd like uh, what is the amount uh, like threshold voltage of the pass transistor is less than the vdd okay then what about the See, at this particular region D, we are talking about. In this region, the transistor is set to be operated in the pore. Just uh, the current starts decreasing and P mass transistor is set to be in saturation region and N mass transistor is set to be in non-saturation region. So, when input is just less than and when input is just less than VDD, by we can say threshold voltage by threshold voltage of pass transistor sorry p mass transistor threshold voltage of the p mass transistor <coughs> then then p mass transistor is said to be in saturation region 
and n mass transistor is said to be in linear region or non saturation region <coughs> or triode region linear region then what happens v out is decreasing and moving towards zero what about the current current ids ids current slowly decreases current ids slowly decreases as shown in this curve id decreases Here previously id increases in the opposite region nothing but region 2 now the region 3 where both the transistors are set to be in saturation region see here <coughs> Now in region 3 what happens V in is equal to V out. At this particular region both transistors are said to be operated in non-saturation region as there is as both the transistors are in non-state sorry both the transistors are in saturation region. As both the transistors are in saturation region there exists a static current flow maximum static current flow between VDD and VSS. See here that's why the current is maximum at this particular point. So region 5, sorry region not 5, 3, region 5, uh, 3, region 3 at this condition input is equal to output is equal to like a 0 0.5 VDD we can say 0 0.5 VDD in this region P MOS transistor and N MOS transistor both are set to be in saturation region both transistors set to be in saturation region so as both transistors are in saturation the current IDS is maximum which is between VDD and VSS. So there exists a ma uh, maximum or a high current flow from VDD to VSS as both the transistors are in on state. Okay. <coughs> this is about region 3. Okay, so in this way, the three region, the five different regions of the CMOS transistors are going to be explained, and each and every stage in the first region, both uh, PMOS transistor is in off state, PMOS transistor is in on state, and MOS is in off state, and in the last region, P is in off state, and N is in on state, <coughs> and in, in region two, if you see, P transistor enters into saturation region and N transistor enters into, uh, sorry, P transistor is in linear region or non-saturation region. P region is a linear region and N MOS transistor enters into saturation region. And the opposite is the case here. P transistor enters into saturation region and N transistor enters into linear region. And in this particular region, P is a saturation region and is also in saturation region. So, this is the region wise operation of this CMOS inverter where the current is having a flow from 0 to maximum and a maximum current occurs at the saturation region. Okay. This is about the CMOS inverter and its different types of regions of operation. Thank you.